girl. Hello, children of the internet. Welcome to my apartment. I want to show you guys my beautiful penthouse. So, I want to show you guys my... I want to do a little penthouse tour. My rent's $10,000 per minute is what it feels like. But it's not, it's only to bring it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here. Honestly, I'm just printing out a titty doesn't pop out because this dress is beautiful, don't get me wrong. Uh, what is going on? My butter? A lot of people have been asking me, this is how I should be doing it. Not this way. Come along, ladies, let's begin. As a woman, there is a lot that we deal with, and I'm gonna give you this trick to give you a stress-free living situation. Always use indoor lighting. Never use the actual like overhead lighting. There's a dead, dying dog there, officer. Okay, but um, as you can see, it is so calming because it's very bright and annoying. I'm gonna put it on for you to see. See. See, now we're all angry, angry, moody, hormonal, all the half the shit that men say and call us anyway. So I'm just saying, lighting is one of the main reasons why I'm always angry in life. I also hate sunlight. Like, I hate seeing sun. I hate when things are bright. So other than Target, I think things just overwhelm me a lot. I have super crazy sensory issues. So learn that lighting is key. Secondly, I know I'm getting a lot of questions on the couch. Yes, this is value furniture. It's so gorgeous, as you can see. Anthony actually had this couch, and I'm like, listen, I need the link right away. He gave it to me. And that's from Facebook Marketplace, and I have to say, this is the most comfortable soft little couch ever it's also very easy to clean podcast studio couch they're all from value furniture they're amazing i will link them below you can check them out they always have good sales going on the lamp is from z gallery the side table i'm pretty sure it's like a plant stand situation and i think that's from home goods i'm a big home goods fan Someone's in the cage. Sorry, Bubby. But she's sleepy, so she needs to be there. Okay, so the crate, food bowl, water bowl, all of that's just my dog stuff. She's actually crate trained. She loves to go sleep in there when she's tired. We have the toy basket in there. This is my TV section. Oh my god, the Wi-Fi password. I gotta censor that. Okay, this is the worst dress to wear for this. Uh, I've been like covering up my titties like half the video anyway. Uh, I got these crystals two years ago. I'm telling Kavya to take them away with her. She's moving, so I'm just gonna give this to her. I actually have a DVD player, believe it or not. I do have DVDs and CDs. Princess and the Popper. I have Twilight, Eclipse, a bunch of like Twilight movies and listen I got them from Goodwill for a dollar let me tell you they have some deleted scenes in there so if you're a big OG fan you need to get the Twilight CD so I have a DVD player for that and yeah um, I actually painted this with Kushi Kapoor this is like a memory that I have my bunny here you guys stop and there is a tiny camera here it's facing the dog so I can keep my eye on her all the time and here we have some doggy treats down to here this is my desk if you're a tendonitis bitch you need this kind of mouse it's super cool to use it it's like very supportive I've stopped editing mainly because of that like I have such terrible hand aches and one's my podcast laptop, one's my main laptop. Okay, I do have a bunch of books here. I'm just like, let me see what do I have going on. Number one, we have a raggedy one line a day. I have had this book for five years. Obviously, if you didn't know, you'd write down a memory every single day. Just like everybody else, I gave up after the third, fourth year. Like I've stopped writing. I got this pink book two years ago and I made these designs to look cute. I love dusty pink. This is my favorite color in the world. Then we have my queen, Megan Fox. This is what I actually think I am. Like, I, let's not even talk about it. Ooh, we have the book of boundaries girl trust me I'm just a bad bitch on the internet I'm nothing not even close to it in real life so I'd be reading these books to keep me in check I must behave then we also have the laws of human nature this is such a good book let me take you into my closet which is crazy I have a walk-in closet you guys what is going on let's go so yeah this is my closet you guys remember I was in a cramped up studio and how much I was dying this is my entire studio apartment and the fact that I have this walk-in closet is crazy to me I have so many clothes hanging out a lot of closet space that I could have never imagined in my life. Also, did I ever tell you, I have three walk-in closets. Three. Numero uno, dos, tres, bitch. Wahed is in Salasa. Ek do teen. Wonder in the moon. Like, three walk-in closets, and I only paid 2.8. I mean, I paid 2.8, including amenities, utilities, parking, everything. I only paid 2.8, and I'm never doing luxury buildings again. Can I just give you a tip? If you live in LA, just don't do them. Skip them, because you pay a lot of money. A lot of invisible charges, if you could call it that. It's a lot of, like, convenience fee, trash fee. Like, shut up. Just like take my rent money let me just stay here you know what I mean and the fact that my studio was 2.5 just the rent was 2.5 I was paying 3,000 to live in a studio and this is a 2.8 apartment it's very spacious I, I cannot believe how lucky I got as every LA native person would say you do not ever go on Zillow and other places you have to know people and like it's always walking down the street and finding an apartment and contacting them and that's pretty much what I did check on Zillow for an apartment and that man was like no I'm not gonna show you that apartment and he walked me two streets down showed me this place bless him 
you know? I just have one shelf for bags. Like, I think it's pretty conservative for an influencer. Like, I just have, like, my everyday bags and, like, my favorite black Target bag when I'm feeling like I'm just gonna be carrying my wallet. Then we have two, like, picnic bags. This guy is from Zara from Dubai. My bunny bit this, so I'm not ready to let go. I'm a hoarder that way. This is Chanel, Target, Prada, TJ Maxx, and I think this is Forever 21 as well. And this is such a brag that I'm like, why is the freaking knows who I am that they gave me this? So I could never afford YSL. Not even YS. Not even Y, bitch. Like, how do they know who I am and not them sending me PR? Like, stop. It's also so pretty. So I just, like, have this as, like, a memory thing for me. Like, I'm not using any of these. Uh-uh. These are going to my daughter. Here I have my everyday shirts. Like, I have the titty shirts. Like, I love showing my tits, as you guys know. I have the everyday crop tops, long shirts, and, like, very easy to wear crop tops. Like, you don't have to put much thought into, like, your outfit. Bitch, you don't put any thought in any of your outfits. So these are my pants. They were color coordinated for a second, then I changed my mind. <laughs> it just got messy, okay? I couldn't keep up. And the top, we have mini skirts, which I love. There are skirts, shorts, quartz, if you will. And here I have pajamas, intimates, bras, socks, and I let me give you a little tip. You want to buy these, like, little containers. You get them on Amazon. I'll link it below. But they're so good for storage. I can just, like, pick up the socks. So these are, like, black socks. -y. Then I have some colorful Disney ones in here. And these are, like, my tube tops. Then I have some crusty bikinis in here. And this is my pajamas. And these are my winter pajamas. As in, like, when it gets really cold, this is where I go. For I have a basket for my dog. I forgot to show you this side. Okay, so these are fancy tops. And these are fancy dresses. And yes this mere urban outfitters. I, I thought it would be bigger. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's a little tiny, so I kind of, like, squished myself into it. I know a lot of you asked me about this rug. This is a whole Disney princess rug. I found in Target for $70, and I picked it up. It's actually so cozy. That's pretty much my one closet. Then we come in here. We have this table break. So I get to do, like, my TikTok makeup videos right in here. And as we're walking, we come into this shelf. If you guys remember this, it's from the studio. It's a bunch of fake plants. I have my crazy dating books and love books and, like, witch spells, and you can't see them because I've put them behind these fake plans, but it's only in the bottom floors as you can see. So that's just my little secret. Charlie, please tell. Okay, can I just say this is actually one of my favorite like parts of my apartment. It's my kitchen table. I do have a bunch of snacks in here, and I did have this little lazy Susan. It's the most prettiest like table stand ever. Should I do what I have in here, or is it too much? I have peanut butter, Indian mango pickle. Mom pretty much packed it in my luggage, and I just have it sitting outside. I have Sadaf sour cherries, the best Persian sour cherry jam, if I say so myself. These are my favorite almonds. If you have a Target next to you, go get the favorite ones have to be the honey roasted almonds so you get these in target as well guys this is like a lot of protein i eat one of these every day for breakfast it's so good let's move on to my kitchen my favorite place in the world we have salt pepper olive oil and i got this beautiful like stand from home goods and oh my god you guys air one sent me honey have you seen this drawer of mine i am a chef y'all don't mess with me i call me ratatouille bitch i'm a chef wait was the rat the chef or that ugly crusty curly haired guy i don't know okay anyway but i have my go-to spot is in here these uh, containers are from Amazon you get these labels too with them so you can just paste it on there and then I have to say though if you have Trader Joe's next to you go pick up it's called the spices of the world it's amazing wow cannot live without this guy for my chai and then I got this because of Kendall Jenner and Chris like they made like a nacho recipe this is good too she packed me this like Kashmiri chili powder and you can see that's like Tamil like, moving on to here we have my favorite coffee machine of the world listen can y'all see me? I don't have a nicotine or vape addiction. I do have a caffeine one now. I never understood the hype of caffeine, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, what are you talking about? Just shut up and drink water, you dumbass. Capri Sun. <laughs> like, dead ass Capri Sun is more um, addicting to me than, like, coffee. And then I got this machine. Or I found this machine in Ritz. Shout out to my ugly ex. Thank you for the Hawaii trip, period. Somebody actually commented that. They're like, yeah, you got cheated on, but at least you got a free trip to Hawaii. And I'm like, she didn't lie. Thank God for the trip. At the Ritz Hotel, they had this coffee. Like, I don't remember taking my Adderall or anything with me. I would, not even alcohol. I would just wake up and feel so high because I had this coffee. And these are the pods. You get the Nespresso pods. I have them here. The red ones are the best Nespresso pods ever. This is a new addition. I just got this maybe like last week. I'm into teas now. I make the mint tea, if you guys know. Pink little kettle I've ever seen in my entire life. It goes with my counter so well. Love that. Hello Kitty. Shout out to Anthony for my birthday. He bought me that guy. Amazon. Yes, Amazon. That's my bread maker from Amazon as well. My coffee machine, like this is with the real like coffee, the actual coffee beans machine. I don't use this guy at all. And then I have my air fryer. If you are in your mid 25s, I don't want to hear it, you lying ass. The air fryer, okay? This is running Gen Z. This is our president. This motherfucker be working overtime. It's not an internship or a part-time job. He's hustling and working overtime to feed all of us. And this is amazing. This is the best like air fryer ever because it has like a basket. Toss it in. Two different baskets so that way like you could just fry, which is amazing. Do you know what it's like to be rich? 
You don't. It's okay, you poor little rat. To me, rich means two things. Are you kidding? This changed my dishwashing game. I love this thing so much. When I was looking for an apartment, I remember telling them specifically I need the tap to come out and also it has to be that kind of like a bidet spray or I'm not like moving in. I'm not even kidding. This is wealth to me. I hate doing dishes, like all, always, forever, every day. That changed my life, made it a bit easier. I still fucking hate dishes, fuck you dishes. Anyway, yeah, I have this little caddy. It's on Amazon. I also have a little nail brush for my nails, which is essential. So shout out to a dishwasher, motherfuckers. If you don't exist, what am I doing in my life? I would have off myself right now. So I never had a dishwasher in Dubai because a lot of people like you get dishwashers in Dubai girl the apartment that I moved in didn't have it okay but it like comes and installs it's amazing because I put a bunch of my dishes in there we have my little butter keeper which I freaking love love my lit. second definition of wealth to me y'all I got the rich people fridge I'm not even kidding I never grew up with these okay so I remember showing this to my dad and we were both hyped up we were like what I love your water so much. Let's go down here. We have my mirror. You guys know I take my pictures in here. So on this side, I just have my PR stuff. Okay, a lot of filming equipment. So this is pretty much my podcast studio. I'd just be sitting here and just like talking to you guys for hours, as you guys know. But yeah, I ordered a new table that's gonna come in a second. And this is like my favorite sunlight. Like it's literally as big as a sun. I have one in Dubai. I couldn't ship it here, so I purchased my own here. But you guys remember, this is in my studio before, so I just got that in here. Okay, so I love that it's just focused on tampons. Amazing, but this is my toilet. A little bidet installed as you guys can see to the toilet and over here I have my little mirror, which I absolutely love. That's my favorite like cherry toilet bowl cleaner It literally looks like a cherry and I love my tampon. I have a little laundry bag and this is perfect You guys if this gets full that means that's one load and it's ready for you to go wash your clothes So ladies get yourself that laundry bag. It helps you a lot if you live alone pretty much where I shower cleanse myself Scrub the dirt out. I love a good bathtub. I always take baths. So I love it. Oh my god Wait, I did fully forget to show you guys this door we need to come back this is my second walk-in closet hoarding closet as you guys know I'm such a big hoarder that I remember telling myself that if I'm moving into a place again it has to be big enough for all my stuff because I know I do have a lot of stuff you know so when I did move I tossed out so many things and I still had some things that I couldn't let go feel free to judge me but there are some things that I just can't let go so we have a bunny mat I'm just paying homage for my little bunsies um, just you know a bunch of shoes these are just clothes and like jackets, things that either worn I will never wear again or things that I'll only touch during the winter. So we have boots and jackets and prom dress and this shelf is just my dog stuff like dog food dog toys do you understand how insane this is in LA for me to get a closet because I'll show you the other one too and still hanging a lot of things in here as you can see you don't get closets like this and a space like this in LA anymore or anywhere in the world like it's crazy expensive but I have to say the reason I got lucky is simply because this is supposed to be like a lobby so they submitted this to like California leasing like department of whatever and they rejected this they tried to sell this off as a two bed and they were like it's too small for a two bed we can make it a one bed and make the rest as a walk-in closet and that's what they did that's how I got lucky so that's a secret but anyway we move on to here I do have a full-on washer and a dryer my whole titties are out they do have a full-on mirror here which is amazing I am a Tide girl true and true uh, my parents use Tide and that's how I got into using Tide I'm not a big fan of perfume sometimes because it can be very overpowering to me so I use the downy infusions lavender vanilla bean I do use gain I think I'm pretty much using this for almost a year two years now let's go on to the bedroom that's right behind you this is pretty much my bedroom but what did I say bedrooms are ugly and boring and dull if you keep it looking like this like this cannot be your bedroom this sucks this is ugly and embarrassing and you need it to be cozy and bedroom like so I'm gonna put you guys on okay see how gorgeous it looks I'm telling you guys this is how you live life you do not ever do overhead lighting that's for losers get yourself some pink lights lamps whatever you can these tables are from Facebook marketplace I'm pretty sure they're from um, West Elm lamps are from home goods and, and the bed frame the whole the entire bed it's from Wayfair the pillows are pretty much from Target, they are foam pillow, they're so good. And always satin pillow sheet. Uh, ladies, never use like the normal cotton ones, they're so bad for your hair. Same couches, you guys know. Curtains are from Amazon. Behind this big mirror, it's pretty much my closet. This is an amazing alarm clock, which actually has the yellow light that comes in and wakes you up, like the sun. And your alarm isn't like the iPhone, like ding, 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 alarm. It's pretty much like you can select flutes or like, like meditation music, like that's how they wake you up. Like it's actually unbelievable. My sleep has been amazing because of it, because it doesn't just wake you up, like ding, 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 ding. 
Those iPhone ringtones, ting a ting a ting. What, what Punjabi music are you playing and waking up? I'm sure your day is going great too. Like, you know, when I wake up, I want to, don't actually wake me up. Like, let's start there. Like, don't fuck, don't tap on my shoulder. Don't wake me up. And the last thing I want to wake up to is like a bing, bada bang, like Christmas, like firework music, you know? I want a very slow, soothing music and I actually end up hating that song in like a week anyway. So the music that I choose is like actually birds singing, like chirping and that's the most I can handle. So it's like Cinderella, she wakes up from her little disgusting dirty castle to get back into sweeping floors, I guess. So yeah, Cinderella, if I were you, I would just not wake up, like just off myself because listen your best friends being those ugly sisters and mice why are your friends mice like come to LA get fake friends like me anyway this is the best like lighting the one that you just see now with the blue um it gives you like midnight sky vibe this is from Amazon literally another let me show you I have a bunch of game stuff as you guys know I'm a game freak or whatever I've never seen this anywhere in LA I'm telling you this is insane um, another closet full of like just luggage stuff and I have my shoes in there price that I pay I cannot believe it my entire bedroom was my studio at one point Being on here I do have my makeup station and I will turn on the lights for this so you guys can see it I do have a lot of my makeup containers honestly my desk always looks like a tornado hit it today it's actually much cleaner than I expected it to be I'm a big sunscreen gal and moisturizer we have a lot of makeup this is my go-to makeup there's a lot of Charlotte Tilbury and this is my lip pencils and we have Juvia's Place one of my rings my gold jewelry and I don't know what to do with cracked perfume so I'm just like keeping it outside to rot this is my makeup drawer I just have a bunch of makeup here that I just will never use ever that is pretty much my apartment tour hope you guys liked it if you did please sub like comment all of that if you didn't that's fine you probably live in a hotel room and you hate me I just want to say I'm very grateful for everything in this house and this apartment the light bulb the freaking fire alarm shit is all because of you I couldn't afford any of this on my own thank you so much for supporting me and you know being there in my crazy journey this is actually insane to me this has to be my favorite and my best apartment like I've ever been able to afford in my life I also have to say I have two parking spots underneath the garage electric charging give in to me my car has never been treated that good you know what I mean she's also safe and protective because of you so I love you very much and I love being in my routine so let me know if you want to see like an everyday morning routine vlog I would love to show you guys that but I'm out of breath and this thing is pulling on my cans so I'm gonna go thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I will see you guys very much in my next video